With this video, we would like to show you how you can create new slides with Empower. Before I actually want to show you how you can create new slides, I would like to show you how you can give your presentation a structure. To do so, you can go to the Agenda Editor, which is inserted and can be found within the Insert part in the Empower ribbon. And if you click on this, you then can define the structure of your agenda and for the whole presentation. Depending on the agenda templates that were included for your company, you can find the different choices of agendas here if you go to this button and then you can choose the one you would like to use. The title for the agenda might also be able to be changed, for example, if you don't want to use agenda name as title or, um, for example, use table of content, you can then change this here within this box. The next step is then that you define the different agenda items you would like to include within the presentation and for the agenda. And you can do so by simply clicking enter, or if you would like to use the button, which is available on the right side of this window, you can also click add and it does the same. I will just include several further options to also show you that you can, for example, change the order of the agenda items. To do so, you can use this button here and then drag and drop where you would like to have the different agenda items included. And you can also define up to two sub-levels, so you can have three levels in total. And this is how you can do if you just use these two buttons here to move it to the right as the first sub-level, and then click twice, then you have the second sub-level. So then you have three levels in total here. You can also redo if you have done so, and you don't want to have three levels or just two, you can then just easily click on this button here moving the, the agenda item to the left again. Before you create the agenda for the presentation, you also can go to the advanced settings. And if you open this, the selection of settings are the default settings, which were defined by your company and for the whole company. But you can easily change and adjust it to the needs you would like for your agenda, if there's anything you would like to make differently for your agenda. If you then click on Create Agenda, you see that the different agenda items will be included into your presentation. The things I mentioned and also while working within the presentation, you can very easily also change the order or include new agenda items while you're working with the presentation. It is just important that you always do so by going back to the agenda editor here on top. And then, for example, you can easily include a new agenda item as well, or change the order, like I said before. This is done the same way as I showed you previously. And if you click then on update agenda, you will see that the agenda on the left side here as the overview will be adapted and changed to what the you had just made. The changes were applied to the agenda. Now that we have given the presentation a structure, we will start by filling in some new slides. And there are several ways how you can do so. You can either um, start by selecting slides from the slide templates that were uploaded for the company. And to do so, you have two ways. You can either go to the inserting section here on top again and use the slide. So for inserting slides, and you will then be directed or redirected to the right side to the quick access pane. And you can search here for the slides you would like to use. You can either browse or choose one from the first level, but you can also search for different slide templates that are available for you for your company. If you don't want to use the slides part here, you can also go directly to the quick access pane, which is the bar on the right side of the PowerPoint window and go to slides here. And then the same window will open where you have the same slide templates available. And here again, you can also use the search bar 
and look for the items or the content you would like to include. And I would now start by inserting this slide here. You can do so by double clicking on the respective slide or use the insert button, which is on the bottom of this window here. The slide will then be included into the presentation. It is important for you to understand that the slide templates I just showed you and that are available here within the slide templates are also here, are pre-formatted slides. So they're actually not filled with any content, but you can change them according to what you would like to show within the slide or for your presentation. You can also very easily include different objects onto this slide. You can do so again by choosing the ribbons or icons here within the Empower ribbon, or you can directly go to the Quick Access pane again and, for example, include an icon. You can here also use the one that are on the first level, but you also have the search button here, and then you can also look for different icons you would like to show and you can then include them into your presentation depending on the icons that are available for you to include here as well. I will just choose one from the first level and I will insert this to the presentation here as well. You can just double click on the icon or use the inserting button. And if you would like to position it so it's not on top of any of the elements here on this slide, you can go to the layout tools and position it where you would like it to be. If you would like to replace the icon that you have chosen, it is also very easy to do so. Go back to the icon, choose the one you would like to do, double click, and then it will be replaced or use again the button here at the bottom of the window, and then it will be very easily replaced and exchanged to the one you would like to have. You can also include, for example, different elements, for example, a traffic light to show whether this slide is finalized or not. This will then be placed where it was defined as uploaded. And if you then would like to change it to the green light, you can do so by just right clicking on the element, go to the traffic light section and then change it very easily to the green. So then you can mark this slide, for example, as finalized or that it's okay within the process where you are at. Different elements you can include are the text elements here as well. You can use the button here or go directly to the quick access pane. And then also you can use the search button here insert, for example, a comment or a footnote to your presentation. Here the same double clicking or inserting button and then you have very easily just included a footnote for your presentation, which you can then change to what you would like to show and have as a footnote for this respective slide. There's also another way how you can include and start and create new slides that are not based on pre-formatted designs. And how you can do so is if you go to the new section of the Empower ribbon and go to the new slide part, which is available here. And then you can just insert a new slide or click on this arrow here. And then you have the different layouts that are available for your company. And then you can choose however and whatever slide and layout you would like to insert. I will choose a title and content for our purposes. And you will see now that this content placeholder here is um, easily to be filled with any text, but also other elements within with this icons or with these icons you have here. And the good thing is if you just click on the tables, then you will be redirected to the tables that are available for your company. You can also do so, for example, with tables or images if you would like to do so and then you will be redirected to the respective parts of the quick access bar for the slides, tables, images that are available for your company. If you would like to insert now a chart, let's do this with the column chart. You can do so by inserting and double clicking on it again. And you see that the content, the elements you would like to insert are directly positioned wherever you would like it 
to be. And as it was defined within the drawing area, or as we have chosen the drawing area, this is perfectly placed within this part of the slide. Also now implementing or inserting a new slide with this one here, you see now that this is the same that the one that was shown or the one that is um, going ahead of this slide. If you would like to change, you go to the layout section with a right click. And then for example, you can say that you would like to have the comparison of two objects. Then you see that the content placeholder are made smaller. But here is the same if you would like now to insert a table, for example. You click on it, click inserting. You then can choose the rows and the columns of the table you would like to insert. Click on OK and here you see as well that it's filled within the content placeholder that was chosen before. The same is now with the pictures, for example, if you would like to use a picture to have next to this table, you can do so as well. Then go to insert here and you will see that it will be placed into the content placeholder again. Also with the new layout that you start from scratch to and fill with any content, you can also, of course, just insert any other element you would like to have. Like I've shown you before, for example, icons or text elements, if you would like to do so. And then you can either position, position the different elements by hand or use the layout tools again and then these will be placed where you would like them to be placed within this slide. I hope this video helps you to create new slides with the different ways and you will see that it's very easy to insert and create new slides that are according to the corporate design of your company.